Hey cruise fans and welcome to my channel Cruise with Grant where we talk about all things Norwegian cruise lines. With so many ships to choose from, how do you decide which one's right for you for your next cruise vacation? In today's video, I'm going to run down the top 10 things that you need to know if you're considering sailing on the Norwegian getaway. And stick around to the end because I'm also going to cover a bonus tip that will help to make your vacation amazing. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start off with some facts about the Norwegian Getaway. The Getaway was built back in 2014 and it was the third ship in a series of megaships that Norwegian was building at the time. The first megaship for NCL was one of a kind, the Norwegian Epic built in 2010 in France, followed in 2013 by the Norwegian Breakaway. The Breakaway is the sister ship of the Getaway and gave its name to this class of ship, the Breakaway class. At full double occupancy, the getaway can hold about 3,900 passengers and 1,600 crew members. This is a little bit smaller than some of the Breakaway Plus class ships, the Encore, the Bliss, and the Escape that came after it. All in all, I've spent 27 days sailing on the Norwegian getaway, and so I'm going to run down 10 things that I think you need to know if you're thinking about sailing on the ship to decide if it's right for you. The Breakaway class of ships introduced one of my favorite features that can also be found on the Breakaway Plus class of ships, and this is the waterfront. You can think of the waterfront as like a boardwalk that stretches all the way around the ship on the eighth deck. The waterfront offers plenty of cozy places to sit, so if you're looking to enjoy a sunny day curled up to have a nap or read a book, there's plenty of different spots that you'll be able to find on the waterfront. If you're looking to dine at some of the specialty restaurants on board, many of the restaurants also have an outdoor patio area where if the weather is nice, you can also enjoy the specialty restaurant dining al fresco. If you like to enjoy a drink while you're on board your cruise, the waterfront also includes outdoor areas for many of the ships on board bars as well. So if you'd prefer to spend your sea day sipping on a cocktail and chatting with other guests, there's a number of different bar options that are available to you. While a sit or a stroll around the waterfront it sounds like the perfect afternoon to me, there's also a couple of activities. You can find giant chess sets on the waterfront and they also have a number of viewfinders. So if you're wanting to look at some of the marine life or the islands that you're sailing by, those are also something you might want to check out. My absolute favorite feature though of the waterfront is the aft view. You can walk all the way around the rear of the ship and see the amazing wake views. I think this is one of the best places to take a picture and I often find myself taking a selfie there on every single cruise. While the outdoor spaces on the waterfront are one of my favorite features of this class of ships, the getaway actually also has one of my least favorite outdoor features, which is the top deck. On some of the other ships like the Norwegian Breakaway, the top deck is actually open. So if you have an amazing sail away like I did when I was sailing out of New York City, you can actually take it in and get some great video and photos. The top deck on the getaway has actually been closed off. Norwegian has something called the Vibe Beach Club, which is a private beach club that has loungers and a bar, but you have to pay to get access to this area. So the top deck on the getaway is not actually accessible because it's been incorporated into this area that you have to pay to get access to. Before I move on to talk about some of the other things that I love about the getaway, I do wanna talk about one more of the drawbacks that I think you need to know before you get on board. One of the features of many of the Breakaway and Breakaway Plus class ships is something that they call 678 Ocean Boulevard. This is an open area in the center of the ship between deck six, seven, and eight that has a beautiful staircase and usually a show-stopping chandelier that you'll wanna take pictures with. Now the drawback is that the casino is located on deck seven in this open area and they still permit smoking. So if you're enjoying some of the bars and lounges that are located around the central area and there's a lot of people smoking in the casino, it can get quite smoky. Now there is some good news in this regard. When I went to one of the Q&A sessions with the officers, a number of guests were asking about smoking in the casino. And they noted that when the getaway goes for its next dry dock, which means it will undergo some renovations, one of the changes that they're going to be making is to enclose the area where smoking is permitted. This change will make the getaway similar to some of the Breakaway Plus class ships that already have enclosed smoking areas. 
If you're a foodie like me, one of the things that you probably scope out first is the eating options that are available on board. The Getaway has some of the NCL classics, including the Garden Cafe, which is their buffet offering that's located on deck number 15, as well as their 24 seven casual dining option, Oceans, which can be found on deck number seven. The Getaway has three main dining rooms, two smaller ones that are located on deck six called Taste and Savor. They offer identical menus. The difference is really only in the color palette. So you can decide when you're going for dinner whether you're feeling red or blue that evening. Now the last and largest dining room that's available on board is one of the things that I wanted to highlight for you about the getaway. The largest dining room is called the Tropicana Room. And while it features the same menu that you're gonna find at the smaller restaurants, Taste and Savor, it also features a large ballroom floor in the middle of the dining room, where they'll often feature live music or also occasionally dance performances. So if you like some entertainment with your dinner, the Tropicana Room might be a great choice for you. But if you're looking for maybe some quiet conversation, then you may want to choose one of the smaller dining rooms like Taste or Savor. If you're feeling a little bit fancy and you want to check out some of the specialty dining that's available on board, you'll find all of the NCL favorites available, including Cagney's, Le Bistro, La Cucina, and Moderno. In addition, you'll also find some specific restaurants that are only available on the Breakaway and Breakaway Plus class ships, including the Wasabi Restaurant, which offers a la carte sushi, and the Raw Bar, which has some sushi and sashimi type raw options. The Getaway also features one of the specialty dining options that's only available on the Breakaway class of ships, and this is called Ocean Blue. Ocean Blue offers a variety of different seafood options. So if you're a seafood lover, then this is probably a spot you're gonna wanna check out. I wanted to make sure to share with you that it is the smallest specialty dining restaurant that's on board the getaway. So if you're traveling with a large group or if you don't make your reservations early, you may have difficulties getting a spot here. Now, just as a bonus, before I move on from specialty dining, another one of the great things that I learned when I went to the Q&A with the officers is that the Illusionarium space, which originally was designed as a dinner theater space on board, is going to also be converted when the getaway goes to dry dock. They're going to be adding one of the specialty dining restaurants that's found on some of the other Breakaway Plus class ships called Q Texas Barbecue. If you're looking forward to trying that, you'll have to wait until mid 2024 after the getaway way has completed its dry dock. If you're a cocktail lover, one of the things that you're going to want to check out is the bar that's focused on just one type of signature cocktail. On the breakaway, they have a martini bar, but on the getaway, they have a mojito bar that's located on deck number eight near 678 Ocean Place. In addition to serving some truly tasty mojitos, this is often a hopping spot in the evenings where you can often find live music, whether it's piano players or a great salsa band to keep you in the mood as you're sipping on your drink. That feels about the perfect segue to talking about some of the entertainment options that are available on board the getaway. Now, one of the things that may surprise you as a free offer on board is the ropes course that's on the very top of the ship. If you're feeling braver than me, there is an option to walk the plank and actually go and ring a bell while standing over the ocean and zip lining across the ship once you've completed the course. Something to note about the ropes course is that it's usually only open while the ship is at sea. So when you're in port, you're not gonna find some of these onboard offerings open. So please make sure that you're heading up there while you're at sea. If you're a music lover, one of the venues that you're gonna to wanna to check out on board on deck number eight is Sid Norman's. They offer a number of signature music shows, including Rock the Poorhouse, a tribute to classic rock, and also Rumors, which is a tribute to the very famous Fleetwood Mac album. Something to know about Sid Norman's is that the venue is much smaller than the theater. So if you're looking to take part in one of these shows, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you plan ahead to get there early. Otherwise, you may find yourself waiting in a long line or being in a spot where there's standing room only. After some recent changes to the entertainment lineup that NCL is offering on their ships, the getaway is also one of the only ships that still has a full Broadway musical, the Million Dollar Quartet. 
And while I could go on and on about this great jukebox musical that features great music from the 50s and 60s, centered around a night when Carl Perkins, Jerry Lee Lewis, Elvis Presley, and Johnny Cash were all in the same spot, I actually want to focus on a surprising offering that you get from this amazing cast. In addition to seeing the actors performing in that musical, you'll also get something on board called Broadway Unplugged. And while some of the other Norwegian ships offer a version of this, this one feels really special because it features the cast of the Broadway musical. On my last cruise on the getaway, they took a lot of classical Broadway musical numbers and they actually interpreted them through a bluegrass and country style, which made the songs feel entirely new. They did run this a couple of times on my cruise, but be sure to check this one out and again, get there early to make sure that you've got a good seat. Thanks for sticking around. I wanted to share with you one of the bonus spots that I thought was really cool on board the getaway and that was the Sky Vodka Ice Bar. Now it's not unique to the getaway you can also find it on other ships like the Breakaway and the Epic but I think it's a really interesting experience all for just 15 US dollars. Included with your 15 dollars is everything that you need to feel cozy including gloves and one of these very fashionable parkas. You also get two drinks included for your 30 minute visit. They have three different alcoholic options and there's also a non-alcoholic option. Located around the space, they have a number of different ice sculptures that you can take photos with, including a really cool ice throne, but also some ice wings. So if you're looking for that perfect selfie, then this is not a bad way to spend the end of your day, particularly if you're traveling somewhere warm. Now that you've heard what I think about the getaway, I want to hear from you. Have you sailed on her? And if you did, what did you think? Or if you're planning an upcoming cruise, what are things that you'd be most interested or excited for? Please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the other videos that I've made to help you plan for your upcoming Norwegian cruise. If you found the video helpful, please remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel as it really does help me out. Thanks so much for watching today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.